This is a video tutorial made to explain how to use the Race to 20 game. So to first thing is you may want to touch on the screen by the side to move the, the screen to full screen. Click on the reset and uh, it will resize okay, nicely. So this is a hot seat game, meaning that the student actually sit side by side each other and then they'll decide whether to press uh, select any numbers. So that in the end, the uh, end goal is to be the person to reach 20 first. So for example, if I'm player 1, I will choose, for example, a number uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So let's say I choose 2. And the 2 card will be placed down on the common deck, which is uh, seen in the middle of the screen. And then as player 2, I have to decide what number I should put in order to increase my chance uh, to allow myself to be able to get... Uh, to reach to 20. So let's say I choose 5. Uh, I'll uh, speed, it, speed this up a little bit. So maybe say player 1 will choose 5 as well. And as player 2, I need to strategize if this adds up to 12, what card should I put in order so that I can win? So let's say I put, uh, so you can see I need to put 2. And, and if player uh, 1 would put any number, let's say 1, then player 2 can put 5. In other words, can, player 2 will almost with certainty win at this case. So this is to allow the students to figure out how to play the game or uh, to, to understand addition but with some twist to the, to the fun element. Uh, some people call this gamification uh, but we thought that this would be quite a nice game to get students to count and uh, we made it into a game for everyone to to be able to try this in the classroom so this is customized so to use the the app you can just select from the top down menu so this is obviously customized to the three challenges by the original teacher who wanted this game so challenge one target is 20 target challenge two target is 25 and challenge three the target is 20 with different possibilities and number of cards as you can see from here now if you choose user defined then uh, it is up to you to decide where, what is the starting number of the addition? So you, do you want to start from zero? Then you can change it here. Uh, let's say you do not want to start from zero, you want to start from five. Then you know you, you want to change the rest, you can change the number of cards. Let's say you just have, want to have five cards. And dynamically, I have uh, written its program in such a way that you can actually see the new effect. And to keep the keyboard, you just click, click on the back button. And again, if you want to uh, see this uh, nicely, or oh, it doesn't work now, okay. But the, the point is, uh, with this, it, it allows for a lot of variety of gameplay. So what does P1 always win means is uh, if you choose this option, uh, we have already programmed it such that it is actually easier for P1 to always win. So for example, if I have a P1, player 1, I can choose, let's say, uh, 11. And, oh, I, I can't choose 11. Okay, let me let me reset this. So let's say you want P1 to always win. So as P1, you need to be intelligent enough to know that you need to choose 8. So that whatever number the P2 player chooses, the P1 will always win. So that's why we, we configured this to... Um, scaffold the discovery of uh, figuring out the rules of playing this game so that the player will always be able to win I mean reach the target number the earliest uh, the... so player 2 always win uh, again it's the same idea we configure it such that player 2 has a higher chance to, to win uh, you can figure out this yourself and the other option is normal normal means uh, there will be the same number of cards 1 to whatever number that you select from the input field here okay and p2 odd means if i were to p1 the player has odd number of cards uh, assuming that there are five cards and the cards start from one to five so i only have the odd cards so likewise you can do it the same for p2 or you want p2 uh, to have even cards and p1 to have even cards so you can have uh, lots of fun uh, customizing these uh, uh, possibilities so that uh, in the end the student will have to figure out and think um, the, the bottom point here is 
student need to do a lot of hands-on, but the greater part of achieving learning is they need to minds on on how do I strategize, how do I eventually get to be the player to reach 20 or whichever target that the teacher selects. So with this short video tutorial, I hope you can have lots of uh, interesting activities and do share your videos with me so that I know that this has indeed been uh, useful in uh, teaching and learning. Thank you so much.